Hello guys, Steven here back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you what I think is the best video editor for free, like a free video editor. Um, I'm only talking about this one because I, I myself have used it and like it very much. Uh, but I'll be leaving like a bunch of them in the description as well for both Mac and Windows. Most of them will be Windows. Um, some of them will be uh, available on Mac. But the reason I'm uh, most of them are Windows is because I use Windows and I have experience with some of them. But on Mac, um, I don't have a Mac, so um, I can't really show you guys any that I've used personally. So if you guys do enjoy the rest of this video, um, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as it means a lot. Um, also comment below what video editor you use for your videos and you know to help other people out. So um, let's get into the video. Okay, so the editor I'll be talking about today is HitFilm for Express. So the reason I like this than any of the other free editors is because it's very professional. They provide like a bunch of tutorials for you guys. Also, there's two different editors you can get into that are both made by HitFilm for like different purposes. So there's Ignite, so for filmmakers and Pro, which is for more like 3D stuff and more professional stuff. Both of those I believe are paid, but if you just like enjoy the ecosystem and enjoy the interface, those two options are there just in case you want to upgrade. So basically, um, you want to go on hitfilm.com slash express and just press start making movies here. And right here, it'll make you sign in. So it's very simple. Just press get hit film for express right here. And you want to sign up for an account right here. I already signed up, so I'll just sign in. But basically what happens is they send you an email with a download link. You press on it and then it'll lead you to this, um, this uh, website right here. And I'll show you in a sec. So I'll lead you to this download page and basically you can download it. Um, I like this because it's available for Windows and Mac. So that's really cool. So if you have a Mac, don't worry. I know some editors aren't available for uh, Mac. Like I believe Sony Vegas isn't. It's really um, helpful if you're not on one of the other operating systems. So that's really cool. So you can press, um, you can just download right here. I already have it installed. So I'll just open it right here. Okay, so the cool thing about this is there's actually packs for you guys to buy here. It's not necessary, obviously, but it just to make the look of your um, editing look a lot better. Maybe like color correction uh, packs or maybe some, maybe a starter pack or a film pack or a sci-fi pack. It's really cool just to add a little flair and like, and some effects to your video. Um, it's not necessary, obviously. Um, there's actually a sale for 15% off everything. So you can actually buy the packs for cheaper now. So, so if you want to buy a pack right now, if I were you, you can do it right now and you should do it right now. And basically there's a bunch of tutorials right here, just some tips and tricks that you can, um, that can help you out here. So um, to start off, you just want to press new. It's very simple. It's It looks a lot like um, Premiere Pro to me. I've used Premiere Pro for only a couple of weeks, but uh, this looks exactly like it. Like the project files, like the project settings right here looks the same. Also the interface looks the same. And so here you can, uh, you know, choose a template. Maybe um, you record in 1080p at full HD at 30 FPS, or maybe you're a filmmaker and record at uh, 24 FPS. You can do that as well. But here I record in 1080 at 30 FPS and I'm going to press start editing here. Right here you can see the interface looks nice. It's very clean. So to import your media, it's very simple. Just press import here. And I'm just going to import uh, one of the videos um, I attempted recording, like for this video, right? Uh, one of the attempts of recording this video. Um, you just want to insert it and just drag it onto it right here. So if you go through the track right here and press play. You can see that it does work and you can see on the side the meters. So basically it, it shows the level of your audio, how loud it is. So usually I like to keep it at zero right here. So it isn't so loud, but it isn't so quiet. Here you can uh, change the preview quality. So if your project file is very big and you don't want it to lag when you're editing, you can just press it quarter. So when you play, it's a lot smoother and you, and so you're able to edit better. So on the side here, there's a couple of shortcuts. So there's like the splice tool. Um, there's the pan tool. So let me just show you the splice tool. So, so like the splice tool where you can like cut the clips very fast. There's also effects on the sides for like color correction, color grading, um, transitions stuff. So as you can see, there's transition for both audio and video, which is cool. So you can fade out the audio. You can do stuff like that. If you just drag this up, you can like lower the pay CD right here. I'm going to drag it down. You can lower the pay CD. So as you can see, um, you can't see it anymore and you can do the same thing with the audio. So you can make it quieter, louder, and also similar to Sony Vegas, you can go on to blend and basically there's a bunch of, um, effects you can do. So like it's similar to Photoshop as well. So you can do like color dodge, color, um, overlay. So overlay a bunch of text so that it kind of like, so it gives a cool effect with the text. 
to zoom on the clip right here, you can just like drag the slider here. It's really simple. And overall, it's a very simple editor and it's really easy to use. So you can like add a transition or like a, a right here. If you go, it, so right here, if you want to go on a transition for video here, you can go for like wipe and you can just drag it on here. And one cool feature I like about this is when you're trying to pan through, it's a lot harder to do like this, right? I know a lot of editors like Sony Vegas, you can just like tap on any of it and it will go there like the mouse. But here you can actually drag it on this slider here. It's really cool. It's like a mini slider on this on the top right here. It's really cool. It's very simple. And so basically when you're done, all you want to do is press export. It's very simple. And you can upload directly to YouTube. You can add your YouTube account here and then sign in and then actually upload straight from here. Usually I don't do that. Usually I go to MP4 first and then I upload onto YouTube. So I, I download it, then upload. So here, let me just export it. Make sure all the stuff is right. Video for video. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and press save here. And then it should upload. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. If it did help you out, hit that thumbs up button. I left all the other uh, video editors that I recommend in the description right now for both Mac and Windows. So if you do enjoy it, hit that thumbs up button. My name's Steven. I'll see you in the next one.